Hello everyone! Hello. Welcome to Storytelling with Jaya! Hello! We're hello. so pleased to have you here with us! We're going to start with the hello song! Ready? Uno, dos, tres! Hello everyone! Hello everyone! Hello everyone! It's time to say hello! Hello! Today's story is called Heron, the King of the Rice Slip Brook. On this particular morning was a nest in the Rice Slip Brook Nature Reserve. And in this particular nest were three siblings and a mother bird, a mother heron. Two of the siblings were very mean to the other sibling. They were mean because they would peck, peck, peck at the one sibling. They would take sides against one brother. So it was two female birds and one brother, two sisters and one brother. And the two female birds would always peck, 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 peck at the brother bird. He was also the youngest. And this made him really, really sad. I mean, really, really sad. He would think, why? Why are my two sisters always peck? at me? Why are they always peck, 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 pecking at me? Sometimes it hurts him and he looks up at his mum to say, Mama, why aren't you helping me? Please, Mama, rescue me from my sisters. They keep peck, 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 peck pecking at me and I don't like it. And Mama, you're not helping me. And I wonder why. This bird's mum would look, look down at her children and she could see that the two sisters were not being very kind to the brother. But she would ju then just look up and away as if she never saw anything, as if she never saw a thing. How neglectful, wouldn't you agree? It would have been nice if she did the motherly thing and told her children to stop peck, 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 pecking. Stop it, peck, 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 pecking. But no, she didn't do this. Oh no, she didn't. She didn't tell the two sisters to stop pecking at their brother. She just looked up like this. as if she didn't see a thing. So, the brother Heron decided that if his two sisters kept peck, 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 pecking at him, the following morning, he would flee the nest. Now this was going to be a very big deal because it would be the first time that this little boy heron would leave his mother's nest. So, the next morning came. Yes, it did. The next morning arrived. Mother heron flew into the nest with some tiny little goldfish fishes for her children to eat. And the mother heron gave one goldfish to one sister and another goldfish to the other sister. And the brother heron was looking around to see if mother had brought him a little wee goldfish to eat. 
But the only other goldfish that was left to eat, Mother Heron gobbled it up. And the two sisters shared their goldfish and they didn't give Brother Heron any. They didn't share not a tiny little bit with him. But that's not fair. Why? They didn't share anything. The mother heron didn't share and the two sister herons didn't share with their brother. So brother heron decided, that's it. Even though I wasn't really pecked at this morning, I am going to pluck up all of the courage in the world and I'm going to jump out this nest because it seems that my family don't care about me. And that's exactly what he did. He breathed in and as he breathed out, he, sp he spread his wings really wide and he started to fly. He flew off into the sky and it felt so exhilarating. He took in deep breaths of fresh air. He breathed out and he let his wings just glide through and he'd soar through and even do a flip. He was thinking to himself, how, how have I been able to learn all this, of these tricks? This is the first time I have ever left my nest. And I know how to do all of these magical things, like soar through the sky. I don't even have to move my wings. I'm just gliding through. And when I glide, I flip upside down and then I turn around again. This is so cool. How could I have missed out on all of these magical moments, staying in my nest with my family, when this is where I should have been, having fun? And then he thought, oh, I'm feeling a bit hungry. I must dive down to this brook and fetch myself some food. Ah. I see a little goldfish just on the surface, just towards the surface of the brook. I'm going to get that one. So there he went. The little boy heron dove down and he sat perched just on the side of where he spotted the goldfish. And as he was ready to go forward to snap it up with his beak, guess what happened guys? A big crow came down! That's not for you! That is mine! 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 Get away! Get away! Get away! Get away! This crawl! This crawl! This crawl! This crawl! The heron was startled. It was a black crow with shiny feathers. His skin, his feathers were very silky. So silky that they were glistening. As if he had sparkled, glitter, pink, silver. All of the glorious colours of glitter you could imagine. That's how shiny his feathers were. And then he said again, by that experience. He had never seen anything like it before. That crow was very, very utterly scary. He made a really strange calling sound as well, like this. Oh, to the door! Oh, to the door! Get away! Get away! To the door! The heron had never heard anything like it. When his mother was calling to him and his two sisters, she wouldn't sound like that. She sounded more like this. She didn't sound like this. Oh, the door! Oh, the door! Oh, the door! And that's why Brother Heron was so, so, so terrified and now extremely hungry. He thought to himself, oh, I'm all alone and I don't have my mum to fetch me food. What am I going to do? I just tried to fetch my own meal and it went terribly wrong. The crow attacked 
and took my food away. He caught the prey. He took the prey away from me. And now I have an empty stomach and no food to eat. I'm not sure if I can survive on my own, but my family don't like me. So what do I do? So there was silence. Little brother Heron spent some time alone at the brook. And then he heard a sound, a terrible sound, a sound that he had never heard before. It sounded like there was a huge attack going on, not too far from where he was sat. He flew up, flew up really high over this tree that was just beside him. And he could see from a distance that there was an owl going to heat eat the crow's little children, the little birdies that belong to the crow. And guess what? These little birdies belong to the same crow that took the prey from little boy Heron. Now, this owl was really trying to go for the crow's little baby bird. And the crow was also there. Yes, little boy Heron could see that the crow was there. But the crow was helpless because this owl was gargantuan. It had a heart-shaped head, black pupils surrounded by red. It looked furious and aggressive. And to be honest with you, it was far bigger than the crow. Not too long ago, that crow seemed very, very, very scary to little boy Heron. But in this moment, the crow seemed like a tiny ant in comparison to the owl. That owl with the fiery eyes and pupils as dark as the night. And it was just attacking that nest, attacking. It was so scary. There was no one around to help the crow and the babies. So the heron thought, my goodness, I must rescue them. So in that moment, he took a very deep breath in. Inhale, everyone, inhale with me. After three, uno, dos, tres. Breathe in, everyone. Breathe out. We're plucking up the courage for the heron. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more breath. Breathe in. Breathe out. And then little boy Heron flew up into the sky. And in that moment, this big and courageous moment, the Heron transformed into a bright red, fiery orange phoenix. You know that kind of phoenix that rises from the ashes? That is me. That is me. Yes. He transformed into a gigantic fiery orange red phoenix bird out he flew up to the nest that was being attacked by this owl with a heart-shaped head black pupils that were as dark as the night surrounded by red like fire and like the phoenix he was also red and orange like fire he flew straight into the nest and that owl was absolutely terrified by this powerful, gigantic, fiery phoenix. So the owl flew away very quickly. He wasted no time because he knew that this phoenix meant business. So once the phoenix landed very close to the crow and the, the little baby crow's nest, the phoenix slowly transformed back into the little boy heron and the crow saw everything. The crow said, oh, oh, oh my, a -da -da -da. oh, it's a -da -da -da. it's you, oh, a -da -da -da. A -da 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 -da. it's you, you're the same heron that, that I stole the goldfish from. And I was very mean to you, wasn't I? Da -da -da! I even told you to get away! Get -da 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 -da! And now, you, little boy you, the same heron, you transformed into the most beautiful, powerful hero of a phoenix. Bright red and orange 
feathers, and you rescued my little children and our home. You rescued me. You gave us another lifeline, and for that I am so grateful. I am so sorry for mistreating you earlier. I really do apologise. I owe you the world. I am going to tell all of the birds on this rice lip gardens brook. I will tell them all about you. I'll tell them about how courageous you were. How you stood up to the owl with the heart shaped face and the black pupils as dark as the night surrounded by flamey red. I'm going to tell them about you and by telling them the story of you transforming into this magnificent phoenix, they are going to crown you. They're going to crown you Heron, King of the Rice Lip Brook. Hurrah! And that is exactly what the crow did. The crow went to all of the birds sharing the story about the heron. And by sharing the story, that heron, that little boy heron, became the king of the rice lip brook. Well, that's the end now, guys. I really hope you enjoyed our story. We just recently created that one, so it's quite new and we'll just practice it more and more. And I'm sure it will get more and more interesting and full of character. However, we did find it quite interesting looking up the different sounds of all the different birds. We found out in our research of this story, Phoenix, you're hurting me. We found out that owls hate crows and the reason why they really don't like crows well the reason why crows really dislike owls is because owls are known to attack the little babies that belong to the crows apparently it's it's evident it's a well-known fact <coughs> so we were ne we never thought we would discover information like this in just trying to create you know a uh, more of an elaborate story but yeah, that's what happened during the research of, of me uh, creating more content for this imaginative story. I stumbled across some knowledge about owls and, and crows. And to be honest with you, when I first told Phoenix this story, the original birds that we randomly chose were the heron, the owl and the, the crow. And we, we didn't realise there was actually a real, a real connection. We were inspired uh, to tell this story because we took a, a trip to, to Rice Lip, Rice Lip Gardens Brook. And I guess when everything dies down, you guys may, may want to, you know, take a trip there as well. And we saw a heron. So that's why we came up with this story, because we saw a heron at the Rice Lip Gardens Brook. Sit down, mm. And it was really nice, so we decided to create a story about it. No, I want more stories. You always want, want more stories, and we will we will tell more stories. So I'm just going to wrap this up now, Phoenix, singing the goodbye song. No. And then, and then we're going to tell more stories. It isn't really finished. So come and sit down. We're going to bring more stories. Here. Yeah, for, for when we finish. All right, guys, so I'm going to no. ask you ask you a riddle. And if you know the answer, please leave it at the bottom of just below this video. So it's the same as last week because I don't think we got an answer. So it, here's the riddle. The more of me there is, the less you see what am I. I'll say it again. The more of me there is, the less you see what am I. So tell us the answer. Okay, guys, so ready for the goodbye song? And then, Phoenix, we can read this together, okay? Now. Yeah, just after the goodbye song. Yeah. One, two, three. Yeah. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye, everyone. <coughs> goodbye, everyone. It's time to say goodbye. <coughs> goodbye. Thank you for listening Happy to fun. our story. Bye. Adios. No.